Yeah, hi there, this is Shoe Rainer at the Shoe Rainer Drawing School and today I'm going to show you how to draw a car tyre. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know, let's not talk about it, let's just do it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to show you how to draw a car tyre. Why on earth am I going to do this? Well, because, um, I think, I don't know, this kind of Father's Day is coming up and... I don't know, it's just a kind of a classic thing to do is to draw cars for Dad on his card. But, I mean, I find car tyres really, really difficult to draw. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll start with the tyres. <laughs> Work my way up and uh, we'll see how it goes. OK, that's kind of going to be the basic kind of tyre. Um, and this is kind of the side wall of the tyre. Um, and so you're going to want the... The, I'm going to make it a fairly low profile kind of tar, car because if we're drawing cars for dad's cars and you know they need to be quite cool so I do a reasonably low profile okay so that's basically the side wall of the tyre right and then it's a kind of a cylinder from there and then you need to kind of echo this curve which comes out it comes out more than you probably imagine like that and back into that curve and then in fact what you want is just the tiniest kind of curve on there as well on, on, on the kind of the top part but you don't want too much it's, it's quite subtle um, right and now we need to fit the, uh, the, the whatever you call it in the middle <laughs> um, you can probably hear in my voice that I still got a cold. I can't shift this gold. It has been a real humdinger, which is why I haven't been doing much drawing. I just haven't really felt like it. I'm afraid um, that I've got a lot of artwork to do for my books as well at the moment. Right, if we do that, then there's a kind of a rim on the inside of it, and then we're going to get a kind of a a bit there, which is kind of the you know the whatever it is, you know, the logo bit in the middle. And you're going to have basically have one, two, three, four, hang on, it'll be about there, five, kind of five bolts holding the thing on, which gives you, um, it, it kind of gives you a target to work to. Okay, so, so you're going to have a bit like that. And kind of a bit like that. Uh, so these bits would be kind of pointing in, in between the um, where the bolts are going. I hope this makes sense. My brain's still not completely in gear yet. Um, so, so you're kind of having to think a bit three-dimensionally here. Um, and then those will be the, you know, kind of the thickness of the... Uh, I can't think what the word is that I'm looking for for these things. The, the tyre rims, the... Hubs, hubs, that's what it is, isn't it? Something like that. Um, perhaps I shouldn't be doing this drawing <laughs> because my brain isn't working. Um, I hope I'm making some kind of sense. Right, then give yourself a kind of a, a guide up the middle like that. And then let's have these kind of fancy things. Now, as, as you come round the tyre, this angle will get sharper like that okay and you're going to want another one going the other side which, which will be and like that and the angle changes again as you come around um, like that and you probably want to have a little bit of a curve in the back there and you may be extra ones in there okay we'll see how it goes right um, I'm not going to do this in ink I'll be doing four minutes that's pretty good okay um, and I'm just going to kind of draw this in pencil. It's kind of just, I just kind of want you to see kind of how, how it all gets constructed because I imagine if I'm going to do some car drawings in the next little while, whoops, um, I'm going to have to draw a few tires along the way. So, so rather than having just kind of, keep stopping and saying this is how you draw 
tyres when I'm drawing cars on I can just say you know if you want to know how to draw tyres come back to this video here if you're having trouble um, does that make sense I hope so and uh, here we go like that and then I've also been very busy with my um, sweet little baby app which is doing quite well and better than I expected on the iTunes store uh, it's a very strange position to be in because I've always been an author and left all everything up to my publishers really and now I kind of find that I'm now a publisher and I've got to do all the stuff that the publishers do and uh, <laughs> uh, it's now I know why people have publishers. It's it's not easy, and uh, I'm having to kind of get in touch with newspapers and stuff like that, and tweeting and twittering, and you just got to let the world know that your um, your little app is available, and the whole world wants it. And I'm discovering all sorts of extraordinary new things that I never knew were there, and interesting people doing interesting blogs and. Hang on, where are we now? Let's do let's say the little triangle kind of thing over right there. So, uh, if you want to have a look, actually, I've just posted on sweetlittlebaby.com and I've just done a thing there. So, if you want to know what my app is like, you can actually play with it online there for free and see what you think of it. And uh, hey, why not tell me what you think about it? <laughs> I could do with a bit of. Uh, feedback as long as you say nice things of course and uh, so where are we now so that's kind of the the, the, the rim and then you probably you know give it some uh, what do you call it uh, you know metallic kind of a feel to it um, let's come around the edge here firm this up a bit now this just wants to curve up just so slightly and then bring that back around like that and so I'm, I'm just trying to show you really kind of how that it's constructed because it's, it's not just a straight cylinder because it's got this slight curve around the top which just makes it really kind of confusing so if we have a a bit going up the middle like that and then you can put in these tread bits kind of like that Oops, <laughs> pressing too hard. Oh dear. Obviously very tense. And oh, where are we now? Yeah, we're trying to get this coming out in between. Something like that. And then we can why not put some little shorter ones in like that, which will then kind of come in like that on this side too. Um, and then you want a bit of shading, so it's going to be kind of darker on the bottom here. And then press lighter, lighter, lighter as you come up. And darker, darker, darker on the top, but then getting kind of lighter as you come round. Um, we're going to have some kind of... Ugh, I keep pressing too hard. Uh, be, you know, Michelin or whatever it is on the side there. Um, this is pale, so let's put some kind of darker shading in on that side but it'll kind of get lighter towards the edges I know a tire is kind of black and <laughs> um, but there's a lot of light and shade within a tire and uh, they're kind of, they're, they are really really difficult things to draw <laughs> they're certainly really difficult things to shade um, I can tell you that <laughs> so actually maybe there's a kind of a bit of a rim around it all again like that and then you can maybe do a bit of shading in like that yeah that's probably the way it is so I've practiced this drawing two or three times just to see how it could go so I'm not trying to show you how to draw a perfect tire I'm just trying to really show you the construction of, of how we would do it um, when we come to draw some more cars so um, 
I, I'm thinking I'll probably do a Formula One racing car and some more kind of fancy sports car -y kind of things, maybe a little hatchback, something like that, hot hatch, something like that. If you've got any suggestions, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments box below. So how are we doing? Ten minutes fly I should be uh, giving up now. Now I'm just fiddling about and doodling. So, and as ever, I'm going to pick the illustrator. I want to make it move. So there we go. Um, how to draw <laughs> car tyres. <laughs> if you've enjoyed that, keep coming back to uh, Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to practice, practice, practice. Go and have a look at sweetlittlebaby.com. And uh, I'll see you next time. You take care now. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>